Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amber Sharnice, and in today's video, we're going to clean this hot mess that I call a house, all right? So if you are interested, definitely stay tuned, and we're going to go through and spruce this place up, okay? Cool. All right, so everybody knows you cannot start to clean a house without music. So that's what we got to do. Let's get the tunes first. <laughs> Great. So now that we got our music playing, you know what I'm saying? We can go ahead and get into the cleaning. So we're going to first start in the kitchen. I don't know. I always typically start cleaning the house in the kitchen. And then today we're just cleaning the first front part of the rooms downstairs which is the dining room the kitchen and the living room so i'm pretty much spraying down everything and wiping down the cabinets the counters everything that needs to be sprayed and wiped down that's what your girl is doing trying to get it all nice and squeaky clean so just you know before we get into uh, the video any further any deeper. This is gonna be a realistic clean with me video. Okay, you're gonna see me walking around in my robe I ain't got no wig on because this is a real life cleaning video Okay, even though I was recording and filming this for YouTube I'm also actually cleaning my house for real for real. Okay, so none of that cutesy stuff None of that we got on makeup and hair and all that good stuff while I'm filming a video, no, okay, we're cleaning the house, so this is what I typically look like when I clean. <laughs> and typically, when I clean the house, like a full clean like this, is on a Sunday anyway, so I'm at the house just chilling. So, as you guys can see, I'm going ahead and get into this stove. You guys, I was so ashamed of myself for letting this stove get like this. My stove have never been this dirty since we've been here. And I'm like, oh my God, like how did I let the stove get like this? I think what it is, is because the last person that cooked may have overflowed something, okay? <laughs> but anywho, I'm doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the microwave, get that all nice and squeaky clean. And then one trick that I like to do is instead of spraying a lot of sprays or chemicals into the microwave is I'll just get a nice big bowl. I'll put some um, dishwashing detergent and some water in the bowl. And then once I fill that up, I pretty much just put it back in the microwave and allow it to um, <laughs> simmer or cook. I put it on five minutes. So that way it kind of loosens moisture up the microwave. It loosens any grit or grime that's stuck in there and I can just go back in and wipe it out. So while that's doing what it's doing, I'm gonna come back and wipe down the stove, get the stove taken care of um, since I just sprayed it earlier. And we're just gonna make sure that that is nice and squeaky clean as well. And as y'all can see, I had to put a little bit of elbow grease into this little, <laughs> this eye right here, y'all. Like, ugh, it was so freaking annoying. And I got tired of scrubbing it, to be honest with you. But um, I, I'm aware that I do not have the proper tools to clean the stove with. I need like one of those little scrubbing pad thingamajiggies just to get there and get all that grime and dirt out of that. Um, but look, my finger got to hurt and it was going numb, so I had to stop, okay? <laughs> it's clean enough for the time being. And then just going in and scrubbing down the little topper that goes on there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the outside of the stove, um, in between the knobs, the handles, all that. And I also check to make sure that I'm not pushing the knobs or anything to turn them on accidentally or leaking any gas, because ain't nobody got time for that. The inside of my stove typically stays super duper clean because I do not bake a lot of things. Um, so we rarely ever have to use the inside of the stove. And when I do, it's something that's quick and easy, you know, to clean up. So there's nothing really ever in there to cause a huge mess. So 
that's awesome so as you can see here i'm just removing my boiling hot soapy water and rubbing down that microwave getting everything out of there when i tell you it makes it super easy to just go in there and wipe everything out now that you've scrubbed down a little bit and loosened things up all right so now we're going to go over to the refrigerator i am one of those parents that do not like things on the front of the refrigerator i'm sorry love my kids love their little arts and crafts and things that they do but move it from in front of the refrigerator. So I went ahead and just moved it over to the side. So it's still up there. It's just on the side of the refrigerator. <laughs> um, so now I'm just wiping down the uh, um, refrigerator and, you know, getting that nice and clean. And guys, don't worry. In between takes or in between like clips, I have, I am going in and using soap and water to wash off that rag. So don't be alarmed. And no, I'm not putting the rag inside of like where the water and the ice comes out. I'm just cleaning the surface of that. Um, so yeah, pretty much just going in there, scrubbing up dub. Um, as you can see here, I'm changing the music because girl, I got to have my tunes while I'm cleaning. If you clean to no music, you are not a real human being. Something is wrong with you. You have to have something to listen to while you're cleaning. I don't care if it's a podcast or whatever. I'm not one of those kind of people. I want to hear music, okay? Because it's going to keep me in the cleaning spirit. So I'm just getting inside the microwave. I mean, the, the refrigerator, wiping down some of the drawers and stuff, just surface level stuff. I didn't do like a deep clean of the refrigerator because it actually wasn't really dirty from the last time that I cleaned it. So I'm just going in there doing that. And as y'all can see, I got my Luther plan. You know, you in some real serious cleaning business if you got Luther pain in the background, like your mom and them, okay? So <laughs> that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. And then I'm just going to go back in and hit the rest of these countertops and these cabinets. Um, with white cabinets, you have to make sure that you are cleaning them on a consistent basis because you spills and drips and all kinds of stuff um, will forever be on there if you don't keep them clean. So that's what I'm doing right now, going through, wiping everything down, making sure the surface level is clean. Um, and you just, just so that there isn't like any additional buildup throughout the week. All right, so now we're going to get over to the dishwasher. So, yeah, I know that the way that I'm putting these dishes in the dishwasher is probably super cringy to some people, especially my husband, because he's just so particular about how they got to go in there. Um, but, hey, they all get clean at the end of the day. So they're going to get in there. I'm going to smash them up in there, and we're going to close it and just, you know, call it a day. <laughs> so this is like a raspberry whip vanilla candle I got from my sister for Mother's Day and it smells absolutely amazing and I actually got this one for my sister-in-law it's frosted carrot cake and I want to eat it so bad it smells so good um now it's time to clean the floors now that I've got most of the countertops and everything done um I want to go ahead and clean the floors up there's a spill on the floor there are crumbs on the floor you guys, it's ridiculous when you have little kids and everything else going on, you have to be sure to clean up. Um, as much as I want my kids to clean up behind themselves, as much as I make them clean up behind themselves, little people just can't clean like you, okay? And I'm real particular. I needed to be I need to look a certain way. So I'm going to just handle that on cleaning day. I'll just take care of it. But throughout the week, I do make the girls clean up as much as possible. Their own rooms, um, their own messes. But if it's still there by Sunday, most of the time it's not. But if there's still a lot of craziness going on around Sunday, then I'll just take care of it because I ain't got time for them to play. And I can't stand for somebody to half clean something. Mm -mm. If we're going to clean, we're going to clean. Okay? So, yeah. That's what we're doing. And then the music apparently got good to me. Okay. So I had to have like a dance break. At this point, I don't even think I'm paying attention to actually wiping the counters down. <laughs> because I am so into the music. And you guys will never guess what I'm over there doing all this bumping and grinding and whatever too. Y'all, I was listening to Marvin Gaye. Like, why am I doing all this? <laughs> Marvin Gaye. And I'm over here getting my life. Like, this is crazy. Like, whose grandmama am I? Like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> 
now we've made it over to the living room. If you guys do not know, I have my living room tour. Pretty much let you know where I got all the items from my living room. It's posted on my channel. So if you're interested, definitely head over to my channel. Check out my last video and you will find it there. But we're going to go ahead and get started with cleaning the living room, girlfriends. Um, you know, just moving everything around, getting stuff out of there that don't belong in there, straightening up the couch, um, moving around pillows, fluffing things, stuff like that, basics. Also going to get in here and clean it down this coffee table. Um, I don't know why my two-year-old thinks that this is just her PlayStation, so she just brings everything over to this one spot, and my table is so dirty. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and clean that off. Um... And make it nice and shiny and of course when it dries it goes back to the matte black finish um and yeah just you know making the making the room look nice and presentable next we're going to take my sharp vacuum and did i say sharp or shark it's a shark <laughs> i love this shark vacuum it's very lightweight it's very quiet is I just love this vacuum, you guys. So I pretty much get every nook and cranny of the house with this thing because it's so flexible and easy to push around. Um, it stays on charge. Well, not stays on charge, but it stays charged for a very, very long time. So I don't have to like charge after each use, um, but it's a good rule of thumb to do that just in case, you know. So I'm just going around and getting all the floors in the house, living room, kitchen, and dining room. And you guys, I'm just showing you this part of the house. Um, typically, of course, I still have my room to clean, I have upstairs to clean, um, in the girls' room, the laundry room, the bathrooms, but we're not getting into all that, okay? <laughs> we just gonna get these first three rooms, okay? Let y'all see that, that's gonna be good enough, right? <laughs> but yeah, getting the girls' toys out of the front room, um, straightening up the pillows over here by my big old window. <laughs> And, you know, just keeping it nice and clean. I still have not mopped the floors. Typically, I would get my husband to do it because, you know, he has a lot more elbow grease than me. And um, he typically just mops the floors for me. So, yeah. Now we've made it up front to the entryway and the dining room. I'm just going in, straightening up the chairs. Um, getting everything presentable, wiping down the table. Yeah, I still have not found a centerpiece for this dining room table yet. I need help, okay? I need help. I want one of those big bases, um, but I want like the amber colored glass vases to go in there. I can't find them anywhere for some reason, but I'll keep looking. So now we're pretty much done. We're pretty much finished. Light that last candle and you know that you've done what you're supposed to do. Okay. So I'm just, you know, panning around, showing each room that I've cleaned, showing the after, letting you know that we've gotten it taken care of. My baby was hiding under that table. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Um, <laughs> we've got the kitchen clean. Yes, I have my chairs lined up in perfect order. All the same, you know, placement. Um, still listening to my good old 70 soul music because that's the kind of music that you cling to. I don't care what you say. <laughs> um, just a nice little pan of the living room. I'm sorry, of the kitchen so that you guys can see the after because you guys saw what it looked like before. It was a hot mess. Okay. Um, and then we're in the living room. The couch is nice and made up. The floors are clean. Um, the coffee table's clean, the mirror's clean, everything looks really, really good, and that's pretty much it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below. If you want to see me clean a different area of the house, so let me know, and I'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please smash the subscribe button and share this video wherever you share your videos and let everybody know about this channel, okay? All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. Peace.